May it hit the west side hard. It fell fast for hours overnight, leaving the roads a mess just in time for the morning rush. But the snow also brought another traffic trouble to light. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska noticed that while he was out covering the Arctic blast today. And Paul, this could really lead to some serious problems, couldn't it? Hey, Chris, it has in other states. And here's what's going on. You know the old incandescent traffic lights? They got pretty hot, up to about 90 degrees and melted the snow. Now, to save energy, to save money and electricity, a lot of cities are switching to those new cool LED lights. Well, they're saving those cities money, but what about your safety? A band and burst of lake effect snow made driving difficult for sure. The roads slippery. But what about those snow clogged traffic lights? Many cities in Ohio and the Midwest are switching to cooler LED lights. Lakewood will save $125,000 in just five years because LEDs use less energy. About a 75% electrical savings uh, going from the incandescent bulbs to the uh, LED bulbs. But turns out LEDs don't melt snow like hot incandescent bulbs. Snow blasted LED traffic lights have been blamed for terrible crashes in other states. Watch what happens at Lake and Clifton when a driver approaches a snow clogged red light. Right through a red light. Other drivers said these lights are hard to see. It's hard to see because the snow is covering. Two of the three in the green, the snow is covering about half of it, so it's a little difficult to see for sure. I have not been given any reports that, you know, there was an accident because of a snow-covered light. Joe Benno, Lakewood's Director of Public Works, has this advice for drivers. If you can't see what color the light is and you don't know if it's red or green, you need to stop. Same, same way if the power's out on the light. Good advice there. Always good to slow down in weather like this nonetheless. Now, uh, these lights, the LEDs, last five years longer than the old incandescent uh, light bulbs, but a lot of other states are looking into putting a special cover, a special shield on the LEDs to keep the snow off of them. States like Wisconsin and Colorado. Live downtown, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.